What am up though? Favorite auditor, audit them. We have arrived to the park district of Niles. That's if this is the right place here. This is saying Fairview. What the H is going on? Oh yeah, Niles Park District right here. Perfect. Alrighty, immediately we're granted with, uh, or greeted with, uh, some colorful, uh, prominent displayed LGB. What's this? Flower mix, let's see if we can have one of these. Board of Commissioners for the Niles Park District. Hi, ma'am. How's it going? Thank you. I'm monitoring governments and charges being conducted in the public interest. Okay. I need to know what is the purpose of this park district. I don't understand what is the purpose with this building, or I don't know. No, the purpose of the park district. We have programs for the community. Can I know what the total amount of operating budget for this park district is? You can see the financial. Sure, yeah, that should have the total in there. Alrighty, so here we are at the park district here. Oh, thank you. Sure, yes, ma'am. I'm monitoring government's insurance is being conducted in public interest. And uh, okay. these are actually requirements that have to be prominently displayed on the wall. I mean, it just makes logical sense to have the purpose of this public body on the wall somewhere so people could be informed. Uh, I mean, you, you can, I can give you our um, executive director's email. You can contact him. It doesn't require that, but uh, may I know what the first name of the FOIA officer is for this? Uh, Public body? FOIA. Financial director? No, FOIA is the Freedom of Information Act. Okay, you're going to have to contact our executive director. I, you know, we're just here in registration, so. All right, is the. Uh, you need to talk to our, our finance director or something. I can give you their email and their phone number. No, ma'am, that doesn't require this. I could give you the statue if. Uh, are they available to speak to here? Or are they off site? No available right now. Um. Okay. See, this is what the code says, ma'am. Each public body, which this is a public body. Yeah. Yep. Each public body shall prominently display okay, at well, each okay. at each of its administrative or regional offices a brief description of itself, which will include but not limited to a short summary of its purpose. So is that reasonable for me to, to know the purpose of this park district? I mean, or? you're going to have to talk to somebody. Sure, yeah, I'll wait momentarily if you could get a hold of them. I just don't know. I mean, and what is your, where are you from? That, that's all. Any, any member of the public can inquire in this stuff. So you're just that someone just, from the public. Right, right, yeah, I'm just a member of the public. We could say that today, yeah. Okay. I, I may be somebody else, but that's all irrelevant. Okay, so... Here is their CAFR, and as a matter of fact, let's see if we could get a total amount of budget here. Well, first of all, let me flicker through these pages and see if I see a block chart, which I think I did see. Alrighty. So you see, guys, uh, for the people watching the video now, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, that's a reasonable question to know what the brief description of this park district is which would include but not limited to a short summary yeah we're the park district of Niles we were established in 1901 uh, we have summer school camp we have jogging exercises yada yada that's look look around it's nowhere to be found it's nowhere to be found um, now, what is definitely prominently displayed is some artwork, colorful artwork. But what I don't see prominently displayed is the total amount of full-time and part-time employees here. I do not see uh, their block chart. I don't see fees allowable under Section 6. So we'll go ahead and wait. I think the... Uh, 
representative here is uh, checking with the uh, admin to see if maybe they'll be able to assist. Well, that's a, that's a great thing that members of the public once in a hundred years come and check balances because if, uh, if think about administrative is they're leaving members of the public in the dark as far as accountability and transparency, but the administrative is also leaving their under employees in the dark too. Because if you ask any of these employees what FOIA is, they don't know. Maybe tomorrow they'll know what FOIA is. They'll probably Google it and do a little research. But FOIA is the government employee's superior duty. It is the government employee's superior duty. And I do not see the black chart here in the uh, CAFR. Here it is. Here it is. Beautiful. Alrighty, I got a dollar here in my pocket. I have to get that certified. Yep, this has to be right on the wall. See, now here's my point too. This CAFR was hidden behind the desk, right? This, as a matter of fact, has to be on the wall in front of the people's face. So with that being said, guys, to the people watching this video now, think about this logic. No one's available right now to speak with you, so um, everything's kind of on our website. If you, and if you have any questions, then you can either, you know, give our executive director a call or... You know, okay, I now, his email, his email, everything's I'll on take the, the email, sure. I'll wait for the email. Yep. These are requirements, ma'am. The website is the secondary requirement. It has to be prominently displayed at the public body first, according to code. So think about the logic here, guys, for the people watching right now. If the majority of the members have, of, have a wonderful day, ma'am. If the uh, general members of the public have no idea what FOIA is, and the administrative here staff, thank you, ma'am, is making uh, a uh, effort to keep this information hidden in the back, whereas if only they comply with the, this agency complies with the law, prominently displays this stuff on the wall, customers and, and residents coming in here may stumble and see this stuff on the wall and learn something new today about FOIA. But since this record, these records are hidden back there, these folks are not compliant with FOIA, the members of the public may never find out about FOIA or never know about FOIA. Because how would they know about it if they don't see this stuff on the wall as required? So that's part of my task here these public agencies, they do come in compliant. If not now, maybe within 30 days, they'll tell me thank you, they'll put it up on the wall. Then after that, the thousands of customers that walk into this office, maybe one out of a thousand, maybe five out of a thousand, stumble on that stuff, see that stuff on the wall and say, huh, what's this? I never knew about this stuff. Okay, now let me let me ask back the uh, administrator here. She did give me a uh, email for I don't know who this employee is, but that's not part of the script here. Oh, I'm narrating to the people watching. Okay, ma'am, as of this point, I developed my own checklist here. I have the right under declaratory relief. Okay, we're not the people you should be speaking to. They're not available right now. So if you want to email Tom Evans, he can maybe set up a meeting with you. No, I just wanted to... Uh, inform you about what's my next step so maybe you could inform staff if you have the, the uh, I develop my own checklist here and what I do is I visit public bodies throughout the state and I see if these records are on the wall prominently displayed or not if they're not I have a right to complain to the attorney general that's my right but as of right now ma'am I'm gonna have to mark off on all these records that have to be prominently displayed as no 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 they're nowhere to be found you did make the black chart available for me. I thank you for that. In, in every, it's all on our website. Everything well, ma'am, again, again ma'am, imagine us, imagine just sending the people out of this million dollar building real estate agency just to tell them, go online, go to your house and dig online. Get out of our city or get out of our uh, department and go, on, go find it online. That's not how it works, ma'am. There's people that don't use internet. 
and this stuff cannot be suppressed and hidden from the members of the public. But as of right now, ma'am, uh, I'm just going to mark off no, no, no's. Uh, a lot of times also agencies, they tell me things that are not to be found true. They tell me the employee's not there that day, but then later I get their schedule for the day and I found out that they were indeed working that day, but it was... Well, he's not available to speak okay. with you. Okay. I hear what so. you're saying, ma'am. I got to I just got to take what you said. Now, I just left uh this is what I have to purchase. This is my next inquiry here. Our fellow neighbors down the street here, uh Park Ridge District. This is your this is your block chart. This is yours right here. This one is theirs. I just left right now and I paid them a dollar because she notarized it for me and gave me a golden seal. That's what I have to do here now, ma'am. Regardless if the employee may not be here or not, that cannot excuse me from official business that I have here. You folks are official and this is my business. So I have to pay you a dollar. If you could inform the person in the back there, I need a certified copy of this block diagram here because that will give me grounds to complain not only to the Attorney General but in the court of law as well. I could use that certified seal as a guarantee that these folks here were not compliant with Section 4 at this time. So here's the dollar here, ma'am, if you could inform your staff. I'm not taking no money for anything. I cannot do anything with that. I am not in charge of this. No, I hear what you're saying, ma'am, uh, but if you could relay that to whoever's on clock dime right now because this is official business here ma'am i have the right to purchase certified documents i have a right also under section 3.5 freedom of information officer shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request so it's not a good enough uh, answer we if the, the people that you need to talk to i hear what you're saying ma'am okay ma'am this does not require contacting somebody off-site. So this is just a runaround, respectfully speaking. I just left, and the lady was wonderful. I just left 30 minutes ago from Park Ridge. Why did they not have a problem, but this park district decides to give me a runaround? That's not fair, ma'am. Here it is right here with the time and the date on it. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, I could have two FOIA forms to fill out. Do you have two FOIA forms on no, site? No, I'm not the person that's in charge of this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, you don't have to be in charge of handing somebody a FOIA form, ma'am. It's a FOIA form I could fill out, and then you have a duty, as a matter of fact, as a public body representative, to just forward it over to the FOIA officer immediately. Well, there it is, guys. Um, just 15 minutes ago, we had a wonderful staff member. Just 15 minutes ago, we had a wonderful staff member. Oh, I think Teresa just went back there. I'm not sure. Her name is Teresa. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what was your first name? My name is Fritz. Fritz. Is this free? Yes, is that it? In the drawers, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. This is just flower seeds. Yeah. Cool, huh? Plant those in front of my house. Um, so, uh, Miss Teresa's back there. I think she's going to uh, see if anybody will be able to assist with this uh, legal inquiry here nice music they got in the background hopefully they don't copyright it oh nice there's somebody actually hitting the keys right now yes. nice it's pretty cool you you didn't know about foia did you no you know now So let me go back here and this is, yeah, yeah, I could walk back here. Let me take a look what's back here. Staff only office, janitor, 
Wow, this is a big building here. Restrooms, alrighty. Nice, I like the design, all the colors and stuff. I don't know what they're inspired by. Maybe LGBT with all these colors. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a nice looking up-to-date building. That's a nice sky window. See, it's not a good enough excuse. Oh, here we go. There's a gentleman right there. He looks pissed off. He looks pissed off. Hey, bud, how's it going? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I also need to... What's your first name, sir? Tom. I'm monitoring government to ensure it is being conducted in the public interest. That's uh, great. What, what else do you need? Yeah, sir. I uh, need a certified copy of this block diagram here. Cost dollar certified records. You can have this. Take that with you. It's all yours. No, sir. This is not certified. It, it, it's certified. That's our org chart. No, certified sir. Certified by who? This is certified here, sir. Okay. This is our, our neighbors down the street, sure. Park Ridge. Well, that, that's what we have. That's all we have. What else do you need? Okay. Anything else? Section 3.5 says, may I know what your title is? I'm the executive director. What else do you Great. need from us? Okay. There's no need to be hostile, sir. Section 3.5 says, Freedom of Information Officer shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. I'll be waiting momentarily to look at that list. We don't have that list. What else do you need? Okay. Why don't you have that list, sir? We don't sir? have that list. What else would you it's like? It's required by law. Okay. What else do you need? We don't have that list. Okay. Uh, the purpose of this public body here, where is that prominent displayed? It's on our, our website. It's required to be prominently okay. displayed at we the don't public a, body. We don't have a public display. What else do you need? Okay, I'll take a print out of that from if you claim it's on the website. I'll, I'll get that to you. Sure, yep. I need it certified so I'll be able to use that in court. Certified. What else do you need? All right. Approximate number of full time and part time employees. Okay, we can get that to you. I don't have it with me right now. All righty. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, total amount of operating budget, just a single number, not okay. the entire book. Fees allowable under Section 6. That's not even on your own FOIA form. Okay. Um, boards and commissions. Boards and commissions, okay. Yeah. And uh, like I said, if you're saying that you're unable to certify the record today, is that a specific reason? Because the employee who certified... No, it's required. Okay, we don't have it. What else? Is there anything else? Okay. I answered your questions. So, if you don't have it today, when would you have the representative certified know. document for me? Alrighty. I'll be waiting for those momentarily. Copies of the Section 4. Section 4 is? Yeah, I just told you. Total we don't, we don't have it. Full-time, part-time so employee. Here's what's going to happen, okay? I don't have it. So, you can wait here all night. My next, my next step is I'm going to have to ask you to leave. So, I don't have those for you. So, you can stop. You don't have to keep asking me for them. No, I asked you one time right. per item. And I don't have them. And I heard what you said. Okay. But now, why would you ask me to leave when I have official business here? I asked for two FOIA forms. You brought me one. I was told you asked you. We can make a copy for you. Sure, yeah. Make and sure. Uh, your hostility showing in front of the world here. Okay. Yeah, you don't care. You have a disdain for the members of the public. And you, as an administrator, top chief at this shop here. What, what else can we get for you, sir? What else besides a FOIA form? You're showing a lack of accountability and transparency. Okay. Okay. You got great disdain. I'll have your business card as well. Okay. Yep. But now, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to have to complain to the Attorney General about you guys. Okay. You have that right to do that. I don't know why, you, why you, you're acting like that, man. There it's you bad. Go. There's your two. That's FOIA bad, forms. yeah. You can take What's the first you? name of like, the FOIA like officer? Uh, Heather Petrie. When would he or she be back She's in on office? Vacation until next week. Until next week, okay. Usually the FOIA officer is the one who, who certifies, so I could check back next week and, and receive copies. Yeah, this members of the public can have those for free. We certainly can. 
what I'm going to do, sir, is I'm going to file this for you. Take me a few minutes, receive copies, and I think I'll be all set for the day. Okay. Yep. Your business card, do you have one on hand? I can get you one. Sure. Yep. I'll wait in Okay. All ready? Okay. So these folks, the, this is the, the head chief honcho there. He's the one who's telling his other employees, treat the members of the public with disdain. disdain. It don't matter. Eh, don't matter. Don't show our purpose here. Don't. Section 3.5, that's required for FOIA. No, no, we don't have that. I need a certified copy that I just purchased 30 minutes ago from your neighbor. Nope, we don't have that either. So you guys are not complying with the law here? Is that what you're saying, sir? Okay. Let me start filling out this FOIA form. So what we're going to do here is, yeah, let's put it in writing. This way, once we do obtain that, we'll definitely be able, because this now does open an expectation of litigation, reasonable expectation of litigation. And uh, let's go ahead and fill this out. I'm going to fill it out here. Um, Instead of the employees telling me, hey, you know what, we're not sure about this. Thank you for informing us. Here, let me write down the statute that you're referring to. We'll look it up if we'll speak to our counsel. If indeed you're, you're right, which I am 1000%, sure. We'll, we'll comply with this portion and uh, you have uh, the right to check back with us in 30 days to see. Yes, indeed, we posted this stuff on the wall. Thank you for bringing this to our attention, sir. Instead, the manager wants to perform the way he performed. It's a great thing. It's okay. Certified copy. Okay, sir. So just to get it straight, you claimed, Tom, you're the one who made a claim that you don't have none of these records prominently displayed. I have a org chart for you. That is the Park District org chart. You're saying it's not certified. That's been approved by our board. That's our org chart. I consider that certified. You're you claiming so. you're claiming you don't certify records here. Are you claiming that you don't certify records no, I'm here? I'm not claiming that. We that's what you told me. No, it's not what I told you. Yes, you did. You're saying that's not certified. I'm saying that's, that's not what record. I said. That is what you said. No, I asked for a certified copy. I never yeah. said your document is not certified. You did say that. No. Because you pointed out that there, to somebody else's that it wasn't certified and ours wasn't. So. Right. Section, or, and you're also claiming that you don't have the list developed under Section 3.5, which I is for. I don't have it with me right now. I don't have it to give you right now. Of course, it says immediately. No, I don't have it right now. Okay, so you're claiming you don't have it right okay, now. So you, you said you want two FOIA forms. Are you yes, those out? but I'm also doing clarification. Okay, that's fine. All right. Have a good night. Have a good day. So certified copies. Here's what we're right here. It's okay. We we got it. for the people watching. We respect honorable, courteous employees. We respect honorable and courteous employees. This is our intelligent staff here. These are our intelligent staff. All right, certified copies of, let's see. By the way, my name is George. And my YouTube channel is called Audit Them. This video will be on YouTube in a couple days. And the people who, who view the video, they're very fair. They're fair. As far as like, you know, having an opinion of public interest. Matters of public interest. Okay, certified copies of 5ILCS. 140-3.5 and 5 ILCS 140 Beethoven. Now let's put a note here of the uh, confirmation code. Okay ma'am, I filled out my FOIA. If I could have a copy of the single page, I think I'll be all set for today. Thank you.
Do you have a business card on hand as well? I don't have a business card. Nope, nope, nope. Not a problem. Alrighty. Do you still have your physical pass? Let me put let me put my paperwork back up. Okay, ma'am. And the only reason why I asked you for two of them is because I wanted to fill one out and keep one blank for my future reference. Sure, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, Thank fine. you for the seeds, flower seeds. Fine. I think I'm all set. Thank okay. you so much. All right, pause this for. And then, ma'am, there's an auditor. His name is DMA, Denver Metro Audits. The only thing he says is do better. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. All right. Bye bye. Likewise. Ready? I told him do better. <laughs> well, this is the Park District of Niles, Illinois, and uh, they performed the way they performed. So you guys know what to do here. You guys know exactly what to do. I don't know why the employee wanted to perform the way he performed. It's good. It's good because we get to see the, the good employees from the not so good employees. The ones who lack accountability and transparency. And it is available. The one who encourages you to audit them. Plain luck.